What is the meaning of Namo Amitabha Buddha? Let's look at its literal meaning first. Namo means, I entrust my life. Amitabha is infinite light and infinite life. Buddha is the awakened one. Together the term means, I entrust my life to the awakened one who has infinite light and infinite life. As for its deeper implications, the most authoritative explanation since ancient times is the one given by Master Shan Dao of the Tang Dynasty. By saying Namo, we entrust our lives. It also means that we aspire to be reborn in the Pure Land and dedicate merit towards that end. Reciting Amitabha Buddha is the practice. That is why rebirth is certain. Let's make a long story short. There are many similar expressions. For instance, Namo Shakyamuni Buddha, Namo Bodhisattva Avalokiteshvara, Namo Bodhisattva Kishitigarbha. Namo is to entrust our lives, to depend on, and to be willing to commit and pledge ourselves sincerely and thoroughly. To the left of Namo is I. To the right is the name of a Buddha or Bodhisattva. Its formula, I entrust my life to a Buddha or Bodhisattva. I am very small and weak, and I believe that the Buddha or Bodhisattva will love, help, protect, and rescue me, so I entrust my life. Namo. To whom should we Namo? It's a question of choosing a direction. Nowadays, people often say, choice is more important than effort. This shows how significant direction is. In the last video, we said Amitabha Buddha is the king of all Buddhas, and his light is the most esteemed. He made 48 vows to deliver sentient beings. So taking refuge with Amitabha Buddha and relying on him are absolutely trustworthy. Of course it is him we should choose. Reciting Amitabha Buddha is the practice. When we resolve to entrust our lives to and rely on Amitabha Buddha, all merits and virtues from his practice immediately become ours. It's like the moment we get on a bus. When the bus goes forward, we move along with it. Its speed is our speed. So Namo Amitabha Buddha and entrust our lives to Amitabha Buddha. It seems that we're not practicing but in fact, we practice most effectively. This is known as to practice without practicing and to do without doing. So the six characters of Namo Amitabha Buddha have profound implications. Anyone who recites the name is immediately protected by Amitabha's light and will, in the end, be reborn in his pure land. Do you remember? Amitabha Buddha created the unsurpassed land of bliss for every sentient being. His energy exceeds your imagination. In his land of bliss there is only joy, no suffering. Everyone can become a Buddha quickly. By reciting Namo Amitabha Buddha, we'll go to the land of bliss through Buddha power. Simply put, Amitabha Buddha asks us to recite Namo Amitabha Buddha, urging us, come. Come. Shakyamuni Buddha taught us to invoke Namo Amitabha Buddha, and what he advised us was, Go, go. We recite Namo Amitabha Buddha, and what we are saying is, Coming, coming. There are eager summonses, earnest teachings, and loud, clear responses. It's like my mother calling me home when it's getting dark. My heart warms when I think about it. Do as Shakyamuni Buddha advised. Recite the name of Amitabha Buddha, rely on his deliverance, and go to his pure land. Yes, I want to. Namo Amitabha Buddha.